Cancers, my Cancers. What's up, water babies? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Cancerian for the month of August 2019? <laughs> Are you guys laying situations to rest? Um, circumstances to rest? The things that just don't no longer serve your life, your growth, your being? Did you learn the lesson, Council? Hmm. Hmm. I, I, I said, I, I, I said, I said, I said, did the people learn the lesson? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is first time watching my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is first time viewing my channel, look out, I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you right now, right now, without no hesitation, Please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because I'm going to do that. <laughs> to the new subscribers, hey boo, hey, welcome to the family. We're a little dysfunctional over here, okay? We don't fight and fuss though. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we laugh, we cry, we cuss. <laughs> we share, we grow, we enlighten, we evolve. Posi vibes only over here, all right? Returning family, what's up, baby? Please don't, please don't, please don't cut me. Because I'm late, tardy to the party, but I'm here. Get it right, baby. Get, look, get it right, baby. Let's, let's get it clear. Hey, listen, I have to finish it out because the areas in me just couldn't go out with defeat like that. Hey, y'all, hey. Thank you so much for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the love, you guys. Thank you. I truly appreciate it, y'all. Thank you so very much from the humblest space ever, the regions. Thank you. Okay. If you haven't already, y'all, please go follow me on Instagram. I don't even think I told Gemini, but y'all go follow me on Instagram at mocha underscore love underscore tarot because I do elementals on um, Sundays or Mondays for the week. So you guys definitely don't want to miss that if you don't catch me here because you got to wait for me here by weekly. So you can go get your weekly tea over there. See, well, who would I be without if I wasn't looking out for you? You know what I'm saying? All right. So, you guys, with that said, this will be for my summer rising Venus as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Cancer. Yes, I will be doing a mid month. Yes, I'm extremely tardy, but damn it, we ain't got to the damn 15th yet. So, shit, listen, okay? Shit, don't even do that. I'm gonna get the bill because, yeah, like I told Gemini, go ahead and verbally abuse me up front. Let's go and lay that on the table. I'm gonna take it, okay? What 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 is war? To a damn tyrant. Go ahead, lay it on the table. We can cry together because I got that Pisces mold, so I feel your waters. And right now, some of y'all waters is real nasty. Okay, some of y'all is in heat right now. We're going to talk about it, all right? So, with that said, this will be for the month of August. You guys, um, you could take even the end of August as a bonus because you can actually include this for the entire month. That's my intention. I was trying to go live. I don't know what weird shit my computer got going on, but I wasn't going to let that deter me from getting you guys your video. So, let's get it. Boo. <laughs> so, we're going to start with your intuitive messages for them, uh, for my sign of cancers, my cancers. Y'all so goofy. For you guys, I got balance, apologies, misunderstanding, karmic lessons, triggers, hoarder, cutting cords, double-edged sword, emotionally unstable, material ties, obsessive, narcissistic, impulsive decisions, hidden agendas, self-sabotage, forced movement forward, karmic justice, calling them out, changing the plans, great fortune, hidden blessings you will soon understand. Whew. Yeah, so spirits talking to cancer. Overall energy around the reading. Four of diamonds, okay? So you guys are, I do feel, are you guys are in this energy of healing, energy of acceptance, energy of just having to, um, you're, well, there's a need for you guys to really kind of take this time to yourself, kind of be in this state of solitude and truly heal. Go back and there's, there's this aspect, it's not here, but the aspect of the life review, okay? Some of you guys, you're breaking cycles. You're breaking cycles of repeated behavior and what you've previously perceived to be okay. 
And this could be what you've been taught when it comes to the foundation of your home and how you were raised, your tradition, your value structure. Um, you guys are kind of taking a step back during this time and truly just reevaluated what works for what works for cancer. What works for me? What works for everybody else ain't going to fucking work for you. This is why your path is an individual. You're a sober and being. And it's time that you guys start acting accordingly versus allowing people to be codependent upon your energy. Cancer has, um, you guys naturally um, attract people who have this lack, this lack of love. And for some, some of you all, it's to the, it's to the point of, obsession once they get within your energy okay and, and, and what i mean obsession is people become overly dependent on that so when you try to take it away or remove yourself from situations uh which in a way you're trying to find this space of happiness for you other people are taking it as if you are either being um selfish or as if you're per like you're intentionally um trying to take your love away and i keep and i keep feeling to say take your love away as if it was any possessions of theirs in the first place um i do feel the energy of you guys feeling slightly unappreciated in the situation and you guys are really coming to terms during this time um pretty much i'm not going to allow this shit i'm not going to keep you know as we as we as we, as we continue forward this is what it's going to be. This is what I'm going to accept. And I know that you're used to this, but th what you're used to is really driving my patience as well as robbing me of my, driving my patience up the wall as well as robbing me of my peace. And when it begins to cost me my peace, it's too fucking expensive. I can't afford that because I can't go buy that back on the shelf. So that's greatly appreciated in my world. And a lot of you all are having to take your peace back by laying situations to rest during this time, okay? So I got three signs. Okay, I'm going to start with the signs that I actually pulled that fell out with your angel messages. Um, and you guys, I'm hearing rising in Venus. Okay, this could also have to do with their sun sign. But there's strong emphasis on the rising in the Venus. This could also be within your Venus or your rising. But there's lessons around it. And I feel like, okay, Spirit is saying this is external to you, okay? So I got Scorpio. Got Aquarius. I got Sagittarius. Okay. For some of you all, if you're dealing with the sign of Aquarius, there's this energy with someone wanting to restore a situation, bring balance or some type of peaceful resolution to a situation. Someone wants to conform to the aspect of duality where possibly there was once resistance around uh, matters of the heart. Others of you all, this has to do, and I'm hearing family. So if you have a family with any anyone, um, any any of these signs, there is this aspect of rectification. Spirit is trying to rectify and actually reform, okay, or refoundationalize. I don't even know if that's the word, but it's gonna be one today. Refoundationalize um, a structure which would cause the dissolvement of what it once was. That either we were allowing or that we or that we found comfort in, like a safe place, or this could be the other person, okay? I do feel that for some of you all dealing with the sign of Aquarius, again, there's this type of balancing act that's trying to occur. Some of you all may also be dealing with a new Aquarius person, and this person is fated to be in your life. Some of you all may also be seeing 1111. Uh, others of you may be also seeing aspects of the 4444 having to do with stability and refound in your foundations. So foundations being restructured, okay? This Aquarius is trying to bring balance and harmony into your life. But I definitely feel like for some of you all, there's a need for you to heal that in that in you in which you're willing to acknowledge has been broken before continuing so that you can transmute how that cycle has been going. Okay? Let's turn it around, damn it. Woo! Made me feel good. Shot shot up a little feeling down. I'm a it's fine, damn it. Listen. Hey. Sorry. 
Others of you dealing with the sign of Scorpio, I definitely feel like if there was any type of pieces of information that was missing, okay? For some of you all, this also has to do with someone opening up. There's influence around. So for some of y'all, this also has to do with a karmic lesson uh, dealing with the Scorpio. I'm hearing having to do with self-worth, not allowing people to come in and out, in and out of your life, okay? Um, pretty much giving people the same energy that they give you, but from a, from a space of love and kindness, you know, um, I'm only giving, why would I, why would I give you more than what it is that you're giving to me? It doesn't make sense. Not allowing people to take what they're not willing to invest in or pour into you. For others of you, this also, some of y'all, if you're dealing with the sign of Scorpio as well, this person could be of some type of influence to you. Like this person could be a spiritual teacher or a leader or a friend of yours that you go to for advice. This person is going to be very influential for you during this time with uh, around the realizations of karmic lessons for some of you all. Okay. Um, especially when it comes to if you are in a relationship with the Scorpio, this person is teaching you um, about self-expression through the lack thereof of expression. Um, when it comes to value, worth. Trusting that it's okay to be vulnerable with your feelings without being in the space of fear as if they're going to be, as if pretty much you're going to be held in captivity of your own emotions through through the doings of another. That's how spirit gave it to me, y'all. I pray that makes sense, okay? Sounds a little off to me, but you guys are listening. I'm going to have to go back and listen, but I take the messages that spirit give them. If you guys are dealing with the Sagittarius, some of you guys could be um, on the verge of completing a cycle with the Sagittarius. It's like being grateful for the lessons that also were tied to blessings, being grateful for the good times, but this person really teaching you about... Um, for some of y'all, this person is also influencing you to travel during this time some of you guys may be seeing 12 12 unexpected things miracles expansion some of you all also may be finding out that you're pregnant by Sagittarius in the month of August or maybe you could have found this out already I'm hearing others of you this has to do with the karmic contract and some type of divine divine union but someone needing to have or experience some type of death of the ego or some type of humbling phase. So one, one, one trusting, trusting in what was built around a situation or what was built within the foundations of a situation to trust it enough to let it, trust enough, trust it enough or trust the process enough. To love a person enough to be willing to let them go. Because we know if you let anybody tell you if you let it go and it comes back to you, then it's meant to be. You love a person, you let them go. For some of you all, this also has to do sorry y'all. My little ears is on fire up in there. Somebody is talking about me. <laughs> For others of you, this has to do with resistance around laying a situation to rest or laying a particular behavior that is being allowed or that has been displayed to you that also it may be a trigger to your inner child that um, I feel that some of you have wanting, have been wanting to ignore. Okay. I was trying to see if Spirit's going to give me something else, y'all, but I'm sorry. First angel message you guys got was spiritual understanding. Archangel Raziel. I'm bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths, okay? Some of you all, there's a need for you all to truly, truly listen to your inner self. Listen to your inner voice, okay? Some of you all could also be like binge, okay? Why does this keep coming up every damn body? Some of y'all watch too many damn tarot videos, too. Okay. Stop. Spirit is saying stop looking outside yourself. For some of you all, you're getting clarity 
from your ancestors as well as your um, your guides, your way shores. You're getting clarity from these individuals through geometric shapes, through sacred geometry. Triangles, okay, are going to be very important to you all during this time. It has to do with the infinite, also the yin and the yang and the blending of energies, okay? For some of you all, you may be seeing... Um, you may be seeing synchronicities around white birds, okay? It has to do with purity, rebirth. You're going through a transformation, baby. This is a very healing time for you all. Spirit is assisting you within healing areas in the heart that is going overlooked, which is why this same area is like a ripping a damn band-aid off of the same fucking wound. You know what I'm saying? Like continuously ripping that damn band-aid. Like, you know, puncturing that damn wound open over and over and over again because we refuse to go inside of us and really deal with that because we want to psychologically tell ourselves that we're fine. But because we are what we attract and we understand that aspect of the ebb and the flow, then we understand that these people who are robbing us of our peace are only aspects of our shadow self that we're not wanting to acknowledge. And it's okay because no side is greater than the other side. The, the shadows ain't greater than the light. The light ain't greater than the shadows because they're stepping stones. You got to surpass and master one to get to the other. And mastery involves acknowledgement, acceptance, and peace within in order to get to those resolutions. Some of you guys will be having a major um, crown chakra activation. For some of you all, I'm hearing near water, okay? So for those of you who have been feeling, like, gravitated to get to a big body of water, get there. Spirit has something to say, babe. Spirit is trying to connect with you. Some of you guys may be connecting with the goddess Chango. Others of you, this could also be Ochun. Some of you have a connection to the goddess Mayat and Naut. Or this could be the person who you're dealing with. I'm hearing your spiritual advisor, okay? Some of you guys also may be getting into um, sacred geometry, comedics, as well as some type of architectural or hieroglyphic-like studies. You're going into ancient books or you're seeking ancient books during this time to connect with your heritage, ancestry, as well as the gifts, the spiritual gifts that you are, huh, that you are resisting. Some of you all want to be informed, and the infor and, and, and pretty much the information has to do with finding comfort from within to trust yourself with moving forward on this particular path because some of you guys are stuck between paths of what to believe. What is it that you what is it that you believe? What feels right in your heart space to believe in? Yeah. The next message that I got was overcoming difficulties. Archangel Jermio, the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges, okay? Come through. Some of you all, this has to do with you speaking up, not being afraid to speak your truth, and not being afraid to lose any damn thing for speaking your damn truth with knowing that with that alchemy within you, you can manifest ten times fall with the acceptance around why you had to release things. Some of you guys have... A past life, a past life karma, or a past life soul lesson when it comes to releasing things, letting things go, and truly forgiving situations and finding. I tell anybody, if you tell a story and you still cry, baby, you still got some work to do. And it's okay. Don't compare yourself to other people's damn journeys when it comes to their inner work. Because some of the most successful people be some of the most ugliest, nastiest fucking people on the inside that you could ever meet in your life. Walk around with all that money, but bitter than the motherfucker. So they can never even be, find the gratitude and finding any type of happiness around nothing that they got going on. That's why they die of strokes and heart attacks and aneurysms and things of that nature. You can't die with it. So don't stress over it. That's for somebody. Some of you all may be finding feathers, white ones to be precise. This has to do with your ancestry. They want you to know that you are on the right path. They want you to know that you are, um, that they are assisting you moving forward. For some of you all, they want you to know that you are being used as a vessel source 
to complete a very special mission, especially for those of you who are on the twin flame journey. For others of you, this also has to do with your life purpose around children, around being a spiritual teacher, a counselor, an earthly guide, a way shore to those in need, but not overextending that. You can take a horse to the motherfucking water. If that motherfucker drown in dehydration, that is not your problem. What else can you do? You showed them. You told them. You can't drink the water for them, Kim. Folks got to drink their, they, they got to find their way to the water themselves. You did it. Next message I got is counselor. Archangel Azrael, you are a natural counselor, and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. A lot of you all, again, I have to get up in there. See, I'm trying to find a good lighting. You see how this angel, you are being used as a vessel source. Everything that you want to manifest, it comes from within you. You guys have to learn how to Stop being so damn serious and learn how to connect to your childlike imagination in order to manifest things. You guys manifest through the visual. Thought, word, action. It has to be in alignment. Your visual people. You guys are being used as vessels to give messages and bless other people. For some of you all, you're resisting actually starting your own business. You're wondering why you may have already had your own business. And some of you all are thinking about walking away. And the Spirit is saying... You can find way more abundance if you choose to listen to my listen to your damn inner voice that I'm calling out saying be more open when it comes to your gift. Share that. There are people that I have already aligned for you to come upon you to come within your path for you to assist. They need your guidance at that very damn moment. But if you're not listening to your inner voice, you're going to miss your blessing and miss being a blessing to another person. For some of you all, there will be there will be this. Um. Some of y'all are experiencing um, an alignment with the solar plexus and the sacral chakra, the crown chakra, as well as the throat chakra. Strong emphasis on it. Some of you all are possibly um, going to look for services as far as chakra clearing. You guys got that card as well. Chakra clearing is the last message. Archangel Metatron. Call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. This is about a clearing cancer. Reactivation, restructure, reprogramming of the subconscious. Thank you, spirit. Everything that you, before you beat yourself up about everything that you need to learn on this damn journey, some of y'all really need to dig deep inside yourself and unlearn everything that keeps you in this space of self-sabotage and not listening to your damn self. When you be knowing shit, stop looking outside of yourself for the answers to your fucking problems and face your fears. With the answers that you already know, but you don't want to see them because they're not in alignment with what you want. But your soul knows what it needs in order to get you what it is that you want. Reciprocity, even with spirit, baby, you got to give something to get something. Others of you, because the spirit needs to know. Archangel Metatron needs you to know. I'm whooping ass on your behalf. You don't have to worry about things. And things that are for you are not going to cause your ass any type of disturbance in your peace, your happiness, nor your abundance. If it's causing issues and damn coin and you ain't peaceful because you're a visual person, some of y'all need to clear that damn energy from around y'all because you have other people's fucking energy that is standing, like, standing in the midst of your damn sunshine, blocking your blessings because it's not allowing you to see. Some of you all know how to move, but there's this issue around. There's this energy of lacking direction. A blind man can walk. He ain't damn disabled. He can move. He doesn't have sight. He doesn't have any direction. And for some of you all, it's stepping outside of everything outside of yourself externally that can be disturbing. Y'all have to literally... Walk in the energy of your complete opposite, which is Capricorn. Focus on you, the things that make sense to you. Step back, visualize. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. If it don't make growth in me, then I can't deal with that shit. 
if it doesn't build into my legacy, if it's going to negatively affect what I'm trying to build and what I put my all into building, the goddamn it, that shit got to get away from me. It's too expensive. Right? Some of y'all may be connecting with um Okay, wait a minute. It's too many of y'all. Wait a minute. Y'all know I don't do that. Hold on. I don't do that. Order. Some of you guys may be connecting with a grandmother, a mother, a sister, Dolores, Sarah, Nellie, Anita, Cheryl, I'm sorry, Cheryl, Brandy, Vanessa, Luann, Lyric, that's a baby, somebody was going to name their baby Lyric. If you're pregnant now, Lyric is from, Lyric want to cross back over, cancel. Okay, no, she said this was her name in a past life. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, this some of y'all are pregnant. This is her past life. <laughs> Lyric come back. Gabby. Some of you all could have lost people between the last three to 12 years or months. If any of those names that I called out resonate with you all, a lot of y'all have a lot of feminine energy around you all that's assisting you and giving you that comfort in your time of need. And it's so beautiful, y'all. Y'all always make me cry. Jeez. But there's an need for you to trust yourself. Trust what you already know and connect. Cancer, you're beautiful. Some of you guys are really going through some type of physical, like you're looking at yourself physically and you're speaking negative things into you. And God wants you to know that you're his jewels. All of you matters not the gender. You're perfect just the way you are. There can always be, you know, any anytime you would want to adjust, but not adjust in a surgical way. I mean, you know, we all have our opinions on that because even I'm open to certain things you know but I feel like some of you all there's a lack of feeling any type of beauty and I'm here robbed like some of you guys feel as if you were robbed of that you gotta tell the devil he's a motherfucking liar and his many fucking devils pull that sword out sis it's time you know spirit got you Trust the process. You are the best. Okay? We're going to dig into your mental space. Just a little bit to see where you guys' head is at. Okay, what message do you have for the most obvious? I'm going to cut one more. I'm going to cancel. I'm going to add it. I'm going to cancel. I'm going to cancel. Huh. Huh. Yes, 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 yes. Cancer, you didn't have to do it this inner voice. You guys, there's a sense of stillness. I don't know if you guys see this lady's face right here underneath the moon, sitting in the center of her pineal. Spirit is bestowing information upon to you. And the clarity to all of your questions, they're saying you're not going to find it in the tarot video. Some of them, even my ass, you being led to me right now to get this message. But after this message, I dare you to find beauty in nothingness. Ask your question to the universe. Go with inside yourself. And from your pineal space, with everything that you can, visualize you sitting with the you that you're aspiring to be, with your higher self. We're going to have a little therapy session right now. Visualize yourself sitting in beauty and radiance. 
centeredness, balance, happiness, surrounded by the beauty with the nothingness. I want you to be quiet and whatever it is that you need to know, spirit, ancestors, most high God, mother universe, mother wisdom, all in which of the pieces of the stardust within the universe in which I connect with star gods. I need to know the answer to blank. You feel in the peace. I trust in the divine. So I trust in the information that the divine bestows onto me. I will receive. So mo it be. And you sit there and you sit silent and you listen. Some of you may listen. Some of you may get the answer here. Some of you may feel the answer come within your heart space. But there's a need for you to connect with nothing. Silence. Releasing this energy of isolation. And I feel like this isolation is literally a coldness. For some of you all, you've become cold. And spirit, again, is trying to pour harvest in your life. But you can't receive that because whatever it is that, whatever blessing that you've been aiming for, you can see it, baby. It's right around the corner. But you got to follow in this space of solitude, not ice coldness. In this space of ice coldness, even find your silence. Listen to your voice, baby. Yeah, I know I'm not gonna cry. I tell you, I'm not gonna cry. I've been holding it back. Listen to your voice, baby. Yourself got to tell yourself some shit. And you got some shit to say, and I need you to listen to yourself. Stop looking outside yourself to find your beauty. Instead, indulge in this playfulness and remove these damn blocks that you feel as if that you feel as if are major delays because the delays comes from this energy of heaviness. And spirits say, "Oh no, 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 no! We can't stay there because someone made somebody feel empty, baby." And spirit is saying, "Connect back to your playful side." Come ye as little children. You can have whatever you like. You can you can harvest it to you, but I need you to connect here. I need you to believe in order to see. Because in doing so, <laughs> you're going to shake your whole fucking world up. You're going to shake yourself up with seeing that. Oh my gosh, it works. You a counselor. You know your superpower, baby. Pour into self. Pour into self-investments. Self-love. Feed the soul. Well, y'all like, mother, you just spent 30 minutes talking about me. Because mm -hmm. you a motherfucking jewel. You my family. The fuck? Spirit message to me, my babies, my cancer. I love what do you have for my cancer? I love August. Let's take a love. August. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Some of you all, some of you all could recently, uh, Someone could have actually, some, some of y'all could be dealing with somebody who either you could have gotten this information out of an argument or someone actually confessing, okay, or information actually coming through. I'm hearing the mail, okay? Or this could also be some type of information that's coming through through gossip. Some of you guys could actually, could have, some of y'all could have found out about a third party situation, including, um, that could have included an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius from the past, okay? You could definitely have children with this person. For some of you all, there could be truth and clarity regarding an outside child that is going to assist you with moving forward and finding your way. It's a catalyst situation to assist you in releasing another situation. 
one in, in well, I'm sorry, a catalyst situation to assist you in releasing a situation that no longer serves you or that a situation that just is no longer abundant, baby. Ain't no harmony in that. You have a new beginning here. You have somewhere to be. And you're internally conflicted because intuitively you feel it's that you feel the need to strictly work on yourself because but your natural nature of giving to another person is where you're conflicted. So I definitely see conflict within the head and the heart here. Okay. I do feel that someone, either you or another person, is needing to make a decision, okay? Some of you guys could have just chose to make the decision for the motherfucker and just cut yourself out the third party shit, okay? Some of you guys could have definitely been dealing with, again, an air sign. Others of you could be dealing with a Pisces, a Libra, a Taurus, an Aries, a Virgo, Gemini. Yeah. Some of you guys could also be communicating with the fire sign or you could have had a fire sign to reach out to you. For some of y'all, this communication could be regarding a fire sign and someone being indecisive on y'all. Someone is going, yeah, someone's dealing with some type of fraternity issues with their spouse. Someone's spouse could literally be having to go to court and find out if a baby is theirs. And I feel like for some of you all, oh my goodness. I hear that that's for a cancer who could not have children. Or maybe you and this person could have lost a child. And some of y'all could be finding out that this child is the same age as, would have been the same age as the child that you lost. Yes, I'm sorry. I would want to beat the ass. I'm so sorry you guys are going through that. That's my, that's me connecting with my shadow self. I might slap the shit out of somebody. So I'm still working on that. I know some of y'all laugh. I wanted to laugh too, but that wasn't laughing on me. Yeah, some of you guys are, con some of y'all are into, uh, some of you guys are internally conflicted regarding putting in work or putting, or restarting a situation with the Taurus or going back into some type of commitment where someone could have left you hanging financially in the past. Some of you all feel as if you've given so much to a situation that you feel as if someone drained you emotionally, physically, spiritually, financially, and has left you in this space of conflict, inner turmoil. Some of you guys, this could be truth and clarity regarding, um, yeah, some of you guys possibly needed to make a decision between a fire sign and an earth sign. For some of you all, you find that the earth sign is more abundant. Like you see this person is someone that you could deal with. Others of you are finding out that you're pregnant by an earth sign. Congratulations, my beloved kid. Yeah. And for some of you all, some of you all who are married, you may be uh, experiencing someone telling you that they don't, they no longer want to be in the relationship or you're telling somebody this cancer because you got new love here. Possibly here with, some of y'all got new love here, uh, with the Libra. Other than you have an opportunity for love here with the Pisces, with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, like yourself. And some of you all have new love here. Possibly with, um, well, some of y'all, it's with a Taurus. Virgo, I'm here for some of you all. Some of you all want to be in some type of partnership or some type of connection, okay, with a Capricorn. Oh, some of you guys could be finding out that you're pregnant by someone who you were connecting with. That is a soulmate. This is a past life connection, but this person could be married. And this person could have been telling you that they were going to leave their marriage. And for some of you all, you kind of in your head about if you want to steal the damn beans or not. This person could be married to an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person could also be connected to a fire sign. And reveal Sagittarius. Some of you guys are conflicted about do I want to spill the beans or not because this is my Ace of Cups. This is my happiness. This is my wish fulfillment. I've already been shown. But some of y'all are dealing with someone who has an issue with making moves or an issue around resistance. Okay. Yeah. Some of you guys. Yeah. Some of you guys could also be um, resisting in Aries during this time. And some of you guys could be needing to leave an earth sign or another water sign in the past in order to connect with this Taurus or this Aries or this Gemini or this Scorpio. Some of you guys have a brand new beginning. However, you're having, some of y'all are feeling guilty about detaching from somebody because financially you know that they won't be okay. And some of you guys worry about this person. I definitely feel like even the person who is resisting you, there is love there, but this person, I feel like either this person could be going through some type of financial struggle where this person is trying to build themselves up financially, or this person could also be 
For some of y'all, this person is healing. This person wants to be in solitude. I definitely feel like for others of you, someone is dealing with a situation where someone, someone's new beginning, like someone needs to make a decision. And either way, one person is going to get hurt. And I feel like either you or another person is choosing not that they, they're choosing, they're making the decision not to make the decision. Okay. Some of you have some of you guys also have a Gemini that wants to come back into your energy. There is love and a whole lot of passion with this person. However, you don't trust them. I'm hearing Steve. So this person could have stolen something from you before. Or maybe you feel as like if this person just don't trust them. <laughs> some of y'all. Uh some of y'all heard nasty hoes. Some of y'all think this person is a nasty hoe, okay? And some of you all, somebody's being manipulative manipulative to get their family back or what they view as family. Some of you all are connecting with the sign of Aries or Sagittarius. And I feel like though there's love in the situation where there was once where there was once an ability to have a friendship, someone, either you or this fire sign, no longer trust the situation. I feel as if, yeah, someone removed themselves. Someone found out, someone found out that they were a third party, possibly involving um, an earth sign or an air sign, and they decided to move, remove themselves. A situation that was once stagnant and not going anywhere, okay? I definitely feel like it's coming to an end. Someone's removing themselves. For some of you all, this could have to do with someone uh, traveling for business. Maybe you're moving. Some of you guys are feeling abandoned, possibly by um, the mother or the father of your child. For some of you all, this could be someone coming in. Some of y'all could be dealing with a tourist that came in and told you they want to work on something. And this person could have used you for your find and like reconcile. Some some of y'all could have reconciled with somebody, okay? And usually I feel like this is a transformative energy, but some of y'all could have reconciled with somebody, and this person came in and finessed you, and then and yeah, this person like instead of like I feel like this person is a thief, but instead of stealing it, it's like you gave it to him. And some of you guys are beating yourself beating yourself up, feeling as if it wasn't a great idea. Some of you guys could be hiding a pregnancy. Some of y'all could be pregnant by the sign of Scorpio or Pisces. Some of y'all could be hiding a pregnancy. Others of you, if you are pregnant and you were kind of questioning the paternity between um, a Pisces and a Leo, you guys, I do see you guys are going to find out that the child is the fire sign. Some of y'all, this has to do with your spouse and possibly a Gemini. There being some type of expectation for someone to reconcile and instead someone wants to co-parent and apologize to a person, but they want what they want, can't say, and they want you. For others of you, there's a Gemini trying to come in your life and balance out a situation where they didn't they where they didn't equally give and take in the past. Now this person is wanting to come in and they want to show you cancer. They sorry, cancer, they sorry. But for some of you all, you've not already moved on. Some of y'all didn't moved on, didn't had a child. For some of you all, you already committed. And I feel like whoever this person was, this is someone for some of y'all, this is someone who you had plans to marry or who you really wanted this connection with in the past. If there was any type of third party involvement and you are um, married or committed and you were dealing with an Aries, an Aquarius, somebody is being, y'all, somebody trying to sabotage your relationship. Somebody being petty. Somebody telling somebody like all your business to try to run them away. Because they want you. Maybe you're doing this to another person. <laughs> Yeah, I do see a rectification of a family situation after some type of forgiveness, okay? For some of you cancers, this could have to do with, for some of y'all who partner has just completely shut down or your partner completely ghosted you, for some of y'all, you're going to find out that they want to go rectify some type of family situation with either a Virgo, an Aries, a Libra, an Aquarius, a Gemini. 
You could be dealing with the Sagittarius, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn that this is going on with. Leo, Pisces. Others of you, you got a brand new damn beginning coming in with the damn Leo. I feel like you're very passionate about this person, but you don't, you're having a hard time trusting them because they don't really speak up. They're like, they cancer, they're more so going with the flow. And for some of y'all, this person is wanting to take their time and start things slowly because they are still releasing toxic people from their past, okay? Others of you, as soon as you move away from your damn, move away and release something that is not healthy for your, it's not, that is not healthy. Or that is not aligned with where you're going on your path. You got a brand new beginning when it comes to finances and business, okay? For some of you all, this has to do with, for those of you who have been thinking about investing in um, a business or actually starting a damn, uh, starting a new business, looks damn good, baby. Looks damn good. For some of you all, this is about a solid offer coming in from an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. For some of you all, there's finally this fulfillment around this. There's finally this fulfillment if you're dealing with the sign of Aries. It's not, finally, uh, finally this fulfillment, okay? Either in releasing this person. Some of y'all could also be dealing with the sign of Taurus here with the Emperor. I do feel a restoration and fulfillment, abundance in a union. I got the King and Queen of Pentacles. So I do see a pair here. And I got the Queen of King Cups. Shit, I just realized I got the emperor and the empress. So for some of y'all, this could definitely have to do with divine masculine, divine feminine energy. You guys are actually able to come together in union once you actually are able to master that harmony within the self and leave behind things that it's not worth investing in anymore. Some of you guys are internally conflicted about if you should move on or if you should continue investing in a situation. And spirit is saying it's the ego that is trying to hold on to this because you want what you want. For some of y'all, this could be getting done to you. Some of you guys have a Capricorn that is a soulmate, okay, that wants to hold on to you or you want to hold on to this person. However, the way that they're going about it is very manipulative. And Spirit is saying, if you trust the process and releasing yourself, you're going to be abundant. Some of y'all have a fear of leaving somebody because of financial ties. For others of you, this has to do with life being grand, it being beautiful, but you being in this space of reflecting over your past due to these reconciliation opportunities that's coming about and you throwing the whole just throw the whole fucking offer in the trash just throw it in the trash i don't want it anymore because it puts me in the space of high feeling like i've been highway robbed for my damn peace you know some of y'all are going to get the truth about a situation uh regarding someone or this could even have to do with your family okay i am hearing partner so for some y'all you, you are going to get the truth about some type of third party dealings that occurred in a relationship. And either you or another person is going to take that leap of faith after this truth, okay? And trust in moving forward in the situation. And for some of y'all, trust in moving forward away from it. Um, and just knowing that love, um, true love, div a divine partnership is literally around the corner, but it takes for you actually standing up for your own self worth, okay? So this is what I have for you guys for the month of August. I pray that it resonates. Y'all, this here was the damn tea, okay? I so love you all. Um, and you guys let me know. Um, or if you need a reading also, that information can be found in the description. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's at mocha underscore love underscore zero. Love y'all. Peace and blessings. Namaste, babies.